Hi, good afternoon. How is everybody? This one uh, is going to be a little bit different, like they all are. I'm going to show you something that I showed you already once. You see that three? Well, that three, when an egg is hatched, okay, and it cracks open in two, okay, it shows two threes. It also shows two U's, in which the three sideways would be a W. Therefore, the cracked egg also shows four V's inside those cracks, which is the double V of light. Okay, not a, why double V of light? Because where there's a spirit, okay, there is a human, and when there's a human, there's a death, and there's a rebirth. Okay? So what I was looking at now was one of the cards that could have shown rebirth. Here's the, here's the birth. Okay, now you see we have one heart facing north and two facing down. This is the way it's supposed to go. Okay, it means three births. One in the middle world, right in the center, where it should be the five hole. They call that the ace hole. Sometimes they call it the ass hole, the ace hole or the ass hole. But don't remember and don't forget. This one shows three births. The one at the bottom is your rebirth. After you die, you come back up to an egg that's already been prepared for you right here in the three card. Then, what I'm going to show you is the five card. Now, you can use this for the seasons and the months if you want. You can use this for the uh, many things. But this is a floor, okay, of male birds. These are the spirit angels, okay? If you notice on the outside, one, two, three, four means angel. And then one in the center means spirit angel, means a male. One and four make five. Now, you notice. There's three going down and two going up. Okay, now I'm not sure in which fashion they're showing this, but it shows that when you die, your angel dies with you, which is there. But when you are alive, there's that egg that's ready for you, the egg that's the connect between you and your angel, both alive on top. That center connects you too, and that center is a spirit connect to the bottom part to get you back to life. This nine card is pretty simple. The center there is what I call the world of Jupiter. And if you want to do anything and find out if there's any truth in what I'm speaking, find out when Jupiter was discovered. Find out about Jupiter, who was there, and what happened just after the discovery. Anyways, this one, okay, is a multitude of reasons. First of all, it shows the upper two floors, the lower two floors, and the spirit connects like the elevator to the two floors. Okay, and on the two floors, what they're really showing you, because there's nothing in the center, they're showing you the one position, the three, the seven, and the nine, which is the rotator. The seven is the laboratory, okay, the one is the egg room, the three is the connect room with the eggs. That's what I call the three room, the two eggs, the one sperm, okay, and they're all the same. It's a diamond, the same on both sides. Therefore, this card is gone. There is no diamond, it doesn't exist. It exists. And the four card, you see that stand they're on? Well, that's part of the diamond. I told you they had to block off the points, and they tore off a leaf, and they get one part of a leaf they gave over to the heart, and the other they gave over to the club. Same family, four. Four fits into six. Holy looly. Look at that. Four fits into six. Where am I? It goes into six. Two north, two south. But this six is dead. He's not alive. That's it. Because God transferred suits. That's it. He's standing guard. That's all he is. He stands on guard. He's one of the numbers of the rooms. All the diamonds are the numbers of rooms. Pretty simple. Nine up, nine down. Split the leg in half. Now you got the number of rooms on one floor of the hatchery. Why nine? Why six? And why three? That's pretty simple. Anything that comes up to the triangle has got to be perfect. Got the 10 card. Okay? Now they're exactly the same. Why? This is an expression card. This is showing you the 4 card, the 6 card. This is showing you the 5 card. Okay? This is showing you almost every single card, but it doesn't show you the 9, except for what's inside 5 and 4. Take the 5 on the top, the 4 on the bottom. Angel and Spirit Angel is what I'm talking about. 4 and 6. Two cards, the spade, okay, 
got spaded. You can't keep a spade or a pick next to an egg, or you might crack the egg. Um, now we're going to go and we're going to show you the heart card. What does it look like she has on both sides in white? What is that? I'm going to tell you what it is. They're all letter J's for Jack and John Doe. And that's what's been going on in this world. Jack and John Doe and it's on her sleeves. Take a look. I'm not the only third. They're all Jacks. They're all Jacks. She's wearing all her sons on her sleeve. Come on. Now the spade is still holding up in worship of the diamonds. Okay, because the father had to, the father, okay, God had to jump into a spade suit. He had to change his family suit, the diamond, into a club so the points don't break the egg. He took the club, he used the female in the club suit. He created the heart suit for the earth. Then all males are spades. And all females are clubs. And that's the way it works. You ever go down, downtown? What club do you go to? The diamond club? You don't go to a spade. You want to get spaded? Spading club? It's a skating club. Skating was the little people. The P is the 16th letter for the little dog. 16, 1, 6. It's not a 6, 1. Don't forget 1, 6 is soft 17 and black cat. Okay? So skating came from spading. Spading is, is, is when, you, when you cut the rear nuts off the dog or castration. But it means something else that none of us think of because it's not in the dictionary. It's another way, way of saying let it slide. So let it slide. Let's get on the ice. Let's go skating. Got to turn those words around. Don't forget these letters that you see. The B is not a B. It's a 13. The B can be transferred into an N. The B can be an N. We have paper here. Here's B. Here's B. Now, I'm going to show you M. Hold on a second, I'm lighting this. Why do I always seem in a rush? Because they only give me 15 minutes, and if they let me roll on one video, I get hot as I go. I keep pulling down. M13, the 13th letter is the M. Now, a little bit closer, I still write the 13. Look at the difference of the 13. Doesn't it look like the B? Well, the 13, the M. And the M is a cycle card, because what you have to do to it is, I'm going to try and see if I can, if I can do this. If you cut the M in half, it turns into a diamond, okay? That's why in the piano, when you play the piano and you have all these keys, but you only have certain letters, because other letters go into them, but it's more defined in the piano. That's why we have a hard time. Give us all 26 letters and tell us a, a story and we'll find the letters. But no, it's all the, if, if you have the, the, the mind, okay, don't forget music is a, is a release. God needs us to release at certain times and certain places over different things, okay? And that music these people have and these words they choose are words that are already chosen. They have a big chart of words up in heaven. And God has chosen what it is. They've got 10,000 words to work on. And if they pick the right words, the combinations God has put into the numbers of the letters will come out in song and in their mouth. And they're great. They are great. Great musicians are crazy good. So now, if you want to go to the end, if you don't want to go to the end, you can go maybe to the Z, right? You can end up with something looking like this. Okay? Now, what that looks like is that's a movement on the roulette board. Okay, and I've went over this before with many people. Uh, the king's spade, okay, he's showing the eggs are in the oven, okay? Well, obviously, you know what this one is, right? So I'm not even going to mention it. But this is the most confusing one, okay? Look how beautiful it is. Look what's in the center. Because that's where the hatchery is. It's the king. That's why the spade ace looks the way it does because it shows off everything he's done. It can't show it in the cards because the other cards are not babies. The only babies that were out there, okay, are the hearts, okay, and that's about it. And then the club, well, well, the club is not the same thing. She's laying all the eggs. Anyways, not just one, obviously not. There's got to be a couple of million or zillion of them, no? There's nine billion people here.
anyways, uh, I just don't like, I still have it in my mind. I'd give it a year, but I say sometime in August. If they live close by to you, that's fine. But if they just moved into the area and they've been hanging around and they're indifferent to everything, watch out who your neighbors are. Your neighbors are probably your best friends right now. I mean, I'm just, I'm just adding this into a part that I've already done. I really don't want to say it. Is it? You ever see an egg and ask what it is? Well, it's an it. Why? Because it's a birth transfer. So it's an it. That's how they got the word it. With a birth transfer. How do I know? Well, it's pretty simple. The eye letter is this long, okay, with a little ball in the top, the sperm in the egg, and the fees for the transfer are the turning, the turning over of the egg, because they have to turn it. Yes, yes, I am a little bit Hebrew, and I'm worried for my home country. In fact, I'm worried for every single country, but right now I'm just worried for their country right now, you know, because they have a friend that I believe is in their house that is not actually their friend. He's two-faced. You've seen two-faced on Batman? Well, in all reality, it has all become true. The devil is out there, and Two-Face is in your den. Make sure you don't sign any agreements with anybody. Just be a friend. You don't need to sign anything if you're a friend. My grandfather always said the hand is the best friend. So give the hand in honesty and trust, and let the rest go home and say, I'm okay for now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Because the good Lord is coming, and no matter what happens with my hometown, we can't lose, even if the end means death to all. We can't lose. We have that signification of the connection between the matrix of the spirit. And not only you guys, but your neighbors too. Don't forget, they are not half your brothers. So your neighbors are your brothers, and now take them as your best friends. Just do business as is. Take care, guys. Take care. Take care.